Alrighty, brothers. Welcome to, welcome to a brown bag, gentlemen. Today we're shaving with a, another new soap sample. And I'm sorry, I didn't catch the brand. This is Henry de Victoria Absinthe. It's a vegan soap. Okay. So, and it does have the matching aftershave sample as well. So I got that, of course, from Maggard's. Got a bunch of samples from Maggard's, which you guys have seen the unboxing for. And today we're going to use this one. So let me just, I have, you can't tell with the black shirt, but I have just washed my face. It's starting to dry now. I'll wet it before I get going here, but pulling the bowl out of the sink. So it's warm. The copper captain's choice bowl. I'm going to open this up. It does, oh, it does come with a seal on it. So that's why I showed it to you first here. Just break the seal. All right, not as absinthe as I thought it would be. I mean, anise, I was kind of expecting more anise, but I'm smelling like a deeper citrus, like a deeper orange almost. We'll see. We'll see how it is on the face and how the aftershave is, but let's get a nice almond sliver out of here. Back of the spoon, sorry, back of the spoon. Put that in there. It's a firm, crappy soap. It's on a firmer side. I'm, I mean, I can still smush it my, with my thumb here, but but it's a little bit firmer. Okay. Get a nice smush. The, uh, I think it's a good smush. The center there. Wash my thumb off here. Get the soap off there. There we go. And let's go the ladder. Strip the brush. One, two, squeeze. Two shakes and a squeeze. Yes, and let's build a lather. to 25 more. There we go. I'm gonna put a little more water in here. Not a couple of those. But yeah, let's try that. And counterclockwise now. Oh, nice. Oh, I got a sneeze coming on, sorry. Ooh, tickle my nose there a little bit. A little more water. Okay, plenty of soap, plenty of soap. I'm going to pause for a minute here and back. Sorry about that little pause there. My nose was itching to <laughs> take care of that. But I did just wipe my face here. I just, I just splashed on a little water. And now we're going to put on the soap. Ooh, feels nice. I think cream. That DR Harris felt really good. I liked that DR Harris last week. I did like that. I never used it before. And now this Henry did what? I can't read it, read it without my glasses here. Of course, that, that soap. <laughs> I'll put it in the in the comments section so you can see it. I want to say I got it from Maggard's. Feels nice. Feels nice and creamy rich on there. Boy, it does. Feels nice. Oh, yeah. I just, this is coming on thicker. And, yeah. Sorry, when it feels good, I just keep going for a little bit. <laughs> it does. It feels very creamy, nice, and rich. It does. It really feels nice, so... Makes me want to go a little bit longer with it, <laughs> but I'll stop now. Razor of the day. You remember last week's razor was the um, Italian Barber Razor Rock version three Hawk stainless steel, way gentler than the than the than the version two aluminum version. So that the steel is just it's not as much blade gap. Um, and it's just a smoother razor all around than that, than that one was. Just a nice, enjoyable razor. This week, 
so I'm basically using the same blade that I was using there, which is the the Schick P30, but we're in the um, the the Yaki. What is that one called? That's is that's the that's the Excalibur, I believe. It's using, of course, the artisan style blade again still, but I don't know if you can tell it. Let me see if I can hold this. Quite a bit more blade gap. There's a, I mean, the Yaki's known for their blade gap. They are. Um, this handle works really well. I'm surprised at how well it is. I'm just warming it right now. There's not much to hang on there. There's no, like, you got a few grooves up here, which I tend not to hold. And you got these little notches here. You figure, what the heck is that? But that's absolutely perfect. <laughs> I find that that's where I pinch it. And I just, I, so I hold a little different. I'm not holding it quite as high. I'm holding it a little bit lower down. So yeah, it's top heavy that way, but it's really easy to control. And especially when you come up against green to have your fingers right there on those notches, it just holds it in place. So yeah, hats off. I'm, even though it doesn't have any grippy here, like I would like to see it, uh, it still works really well. So I, I'm pleased. And of course the aggressive blade gap makes it more aggressive. You feel the blade, you really feel the blade. Just go easy. Not what I consider a beginner's razor at all. Not with that much blade gap. Cause yeah, you press down on this, you're, you're gonna hurt yourself. But it does a good job. I don't mind blade feel. I don't mind a little extra blade gap. Don't mind it at all. It doesn't bother my scar tissue here at all. So I didn't mean to lather my face here. I do have a little spot here I keep cutting. And this blade gap doesn't help. It cuts it. The, the comparison there between this and the and the Italian Barber Razor Rock version three, the, with, with the hawk being more gentle, more smooth, it didn't tend to grab me here on the little ingrown hair that I've got, but this did. I grabbed my, grabbed me the last two days. We'll see what today does. And I got this soreness under my nose because my allergies been kicking up again. Oh, just cut my lip. Trying to avoid this, I cut my lip. Felt it. It is a little easier to cut yourself with a little more blade gap like this. I was trying to see, I was trying to work around that. And I'm not going to mess with that anymore. I, I, oh, it's not bleeding, but, but I felt it. I got myself in the lip. I did. <laughs> and that's simply just trying to avoid this little ingrown. It's, it's healing up. It is healing up. So I'm just going to. Stay off that today. We're just not going to shave. You know, it's got enough shaving underneath the nose there. It's not going to go anymore today. I'm not going to get it smooth today. We're just not going to go there. Just going to give it time to heal. Oh, this cream feels nice. Not a fancy brush at all. This is just a West Coast shaving you know, synthetic brush. Nothing, you know, the, was it tuxedo knot? Nothing, nothing fancy, but boy, it feels nice. This cream feels nice on this brush. All right, second pass across the grain. This razor just tears it up. It just, when I say that, I don't mean rip me apart. I just mean that it, it does a good job of, of cutting down the mowing down the hairs. You feel every bit of that, you do feel the blade. You do feel it, but it is not disconcerting to me at all. I used the other, the Katana by Yaki, which takes a regular, well, not really a regular, that one takes one of those um, box cutter type blades, I call them. I think, does it, does it take that or does it take a half? No, I take it back. I think it takes a half a DE, I think, I'm gonna think of it. And that one, lots and lots of blade gap on that one. Lots of, more so than this even. Um, but I enjoyed that one as well. This one, you see, this is just because of the blade gap, yeah, it's, it's a little rougher. More blade gap to, to, to get the hairs. Does translate into a rougher shave. And I won't say real rough. I'm just saying, you just, you know, the, you just, you can feel that blade. It's not as smooth as it could be, you know, it's, but for the cost, I mean, how do you go wrong? I mean, this thing is like, I think less than $30 from Yaki. It's shipped to me from Australia, not China. I've heard you know, guys commented on my channel that they got it from China and it took longer. Yeah, this did only, I think it was less than two weeks for me. It's halfway around the world. 
during the time of COVID, I'm kind of impressed. It's nice and easy. Nice and light. Let's, let's see if I can wake up the, the water in the neck. Yep, yep, wake up the slickness. Uh, it'll be a little slicker. Yeah. I mean, it did, give, it did wake up the slickness a bit. Not the slickest soap I've used. Not the least slickest either by, by any means, but we'll call that middle of the road. Oh, I'm feeling it right there. Why am I feeling it? All right, well, we're gonna not do that anymore. Get that water in the neck, wake up. That's what I'm doing for my, for my pickup pass. I'm just splashing water instead of putting more soap on. Just giving that a shot. You've seen how the soaps do. Some of them get real slick again. This one's moderate, but, but enough. It is enough for me. Just trying to make sure it's just nice and smooth. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, it's still smooth over here. One spot right there. Yeah, okay, there we go, got it. Let me a little tick underneath the Adam's apple, but I want to leave that. All right, let me pause while I clean up. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. I've just yeah, washed up the equipment, uh, put it on the shelf. I've washed the face off with warm water. Now, time to put on the cold water and do a nice cold water splash. And we're gonna do Shave Nation Ellen Block. I got a little spot. Is that a spot? Yeah, I got maybe a little spot right there. Okay, a little spot. So let's hit the. This is a cold. Yep. Hold on one sec. All righty. There. Got the alum going there. Let me try that off. All right, now let's try the absinthe aftershave. Maybe I'll give that a little shake here. Oh, two to the ESA. It's Saturday morning, late morning. It's probably 10 o'clock ish, I guess, by now. Um, I finished my last Dangerous Goods training course today. The last one was a shorter one, which was nice. That's why I'm shaving a little bit earlier today. But, but um, so that's done. So I got I had 11 sections to do. I've done all of them and passed them all. So that's done. So my Saturdays hopefully will be a little freer going forward. <laughs> Maybe shave a little earlier going in the in the future here. But you know, so I was glad to get that done. So you, you've you heard the expression, you know enough to be dangerous. Well, I, I know enough to be not dangerous. <laughs> so, so hold on one sec. That's nice. I mean, it doesn't smell like anything I kind of like perceived it would smell like. Very light. I mean, the soap is extremely light scented, probably about a one or a two as far as strength, just not very strong at all. The aftershave is not strong. Let's put on a little bit extra. <laughs> but nice, it is, it's very nice. It's got a light, say, I'd say like a, like a deeper orange scent to it, like almost like a mandarin orange scent to it, a little deeper. Nice. To me, that, I mean, that's what I smell. I like it. I'm smelling something else and I can't figure out what it is. Maybe a little vanilla behind there or something too. Something's, something, something's back there. As it dries down, I can smell something else, but the preponderance of the, of the citrus for me. 
and I like it. It smells, you know, it smells very nice, very mild, very light. If you want to go over, you know, in another couple of minutes with an aftershave, I mean, excuse me, with a cologne, you know, type for EDP fragrance, and you absolutely could. But this smells good. I like this. So get my my Saturday going here. I'm going to go probably over to Lowe's to look at some yard stuff. I want to get some, maybe throw a little lime down on my yard. Get a get a broadcast spreader. My last one broke, so get another one of those in a couple of bags. Get a twenty thousand yards of. Uh, 20,000 square feet rather of night yards square feet spreadability of lime and just throw that down for months before I start fertilizing here next month I think that'll be the plan and I'm waiting I'm just you know waiting to for the cabinet to come in for the bathroom so I can finish up the bathroom so I might just be buying some, some floor trim too because I'll need to floor trim it out after I put the cabinet in and then just see if cabinet and sink fixture and it just needs a mirror and a toilet paper roll holder and kind of done. So it's it's getting there. I'm agonizingly slow, but it's getting there. I think I'll look at the uh, toilet paper holders today to something to order. <laughs> Height of my day. Yeah, it's wonderful to be a homeowner. Just exciting things you get to do. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the shave and go with God.